G'day, my name is Ben and today I'd just like to share my experience with using WinWin -win to have a professional resume written specifically for the FIFO mines. So I grew up and uh, most of my working career is in the East Coast and I decided I wanted to move into the FIFO mining sector specialising out of Perth. So I first of all used another company and unfortunately it was a basically a waste of time and money for me. Um, it was really difficult communicating with them and they didn't really transfer any of my skills onto the new resume. There was a lot of um, really basic errors uh, like spelling and stuff and to be honest if I wanted that I should have just done it myself. Uh, moving forward from that I saw Alana do a few videos on TikTok and I reached out to her and I spoke with her and said I think this resume that I got made isn't very good. I'm not amazing with that sort of stuff. Um, so I sent it to her and yeah, basically she pointed out all the problems with it. Now the major problem was that it would not have done very well through what they call an ATS or the applicant tracking system. So how all the jobs through the mining works is that thousands or hundreds of or hundreds to thousands of people apply for the same job and they use a computer system called an ATS or applicant tracking system to filter through these resumes. So your resume may have on it that you are the most amazing person that they are exactly looking for and if the ATS system decides that it doesn't meet the criteria, it will just filter it out. Now on top of that, there is a good chance that once it has been filtered out, your name will be on the do not contact, do not bother calling list. Now I've personally had that. I had a job where I was interviewing when I was based in Queensland and the company basically called me and um, they spoke to me and organised interviews and did all that and they got to the point they said, oh, how long would it take to get there? And I said, probably take me two weeks to drive from you know, North Queensland to Perth. Um, I didn't get that job and then the same position came up later on when I was attempting to move over to Perth. Um, I inquired with them. I actually had another company who was doing their HR work. The lady rang me straight away and said, you're a great fit for this job. I'm really going to put you through. Uh, when can you do a medical? When can you do this? And she was ecstatic about it. Unfortunately, she called me back very shortly and said, uh, I'm not sure why. And I have to really apologize, but they have told me that they will not be proceeding with your application. Uh, I found out that um, this company has a specific policy of not interviewing the same person within 12 months. So my first resume probably shot me in the foot for that job. Um, moving forward, I contacted Alana and her team and explained, hey, I don't have any mining experience. Um, I have experience in the music industry and nightclubs, hospitality, retail, all sorts of stuff. Uh, business ownership, business management, but nothing that relates to mining. So she used all of my unique skills um, that I've worked on in my working career to tailor make a, career, a resume that was suited to get my foot in the door. Now moving forward from this, I was applying on my way over and I was getting calls. So I was actually amazed at how quickly the response was um, when people found out that I was what they were looking for. Sometimes I would apply for a job and I'd get a call back in half an hour. Now since then I've had I think four or five job offers um, and I've worked at two different mines and I've progressed quite quickly into what would be considered a top tier mine in the Pilbara. Um, I've blanked out the name for um, privacy reasons um, but both the company I work for and the mine owner is very very well respected in the industry and I'm on a, quite a good salary especially considering I've only been in the mines for six months. Now, I attribute this to my resume because without that, I would not have got anywhere close to getting my resume in front of a real person for them to ring me and call me and talk to me. So without a, a good resume, you have absolutely no chance. So in saying that, I see people always ask, how do we get into the mines? How do I do this? So I'm really looking for that. I'm willing to do all this. The first thing you need to do is you need to get WinWin to write your resume. The second thing you can probably do is use WinWin for some coaching, uh, edit your profiles. Um, every time I get a job, I basically uh, ring WinWin up and say, hey, can you update my resume? Hey, can you do a few more things for me? 
because I know it worked and I'm going to leave it up to them from then, from now. I'm never going to touch my resume again. So um, my personal experience has been great with the team. I could contact them even if I couldn't. Um, they would call me back. Um, yeah, so I've had both ends of the spectrum and I had to do, pay for it twice. But um, yeah, Win Win was cheaper than the other guys and 10 times better. So their personal experience in the industry as recruiters, as workers, and then now as resume designers and builders, it just, yeah, tenfold uh, improves your chances of um, actually landing a job and then also progressing in the career. So, yeah, my name's Ben, and I just thought I'd make this video today uh, to share my experiences, because I do see a lot of people, especially on the Win Win Facebook page, say, hey, this is my resume, uh, how do I get in the mines? And as soon as you look at the resume, it's a very, very basic Word document profile off the internet, and I can tell straight away it's not going to make it anywhere. It wouldn't matter if it says I'm an amazing uh, operator and I can I've operated these machines. No, no one's going to look at it. The ATS system is just going to cut it straight out. Anyway, thanks today um, to Win Win for getting me to where I am.